looks like streams go. Hello everyone, my name is Mood Guts Gamer, and today I'm going to be playing with Git Gods. I honestly have no idea how to play Wicked Gods. No? What What do you mean, no? But yeah, I have no idea how... Also, welcome to the stream, Yuka. <laughs> um, I have no idea how to play Wicked Gods. I just simply like saw a couple of deck profiles and just made my own. I told you to play them. Uh, Dustin's? I'm, I'm planning on playing them soon. I just made the I just made the deck recently, um, but it's still work in progress right now. No. Wait. Now I'm even more confused. Wicked gods. You forgot. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm playing wicked gods. We got the wicked dread root, the wicked avatar, the wicked eraser, and yeah. Um, so, I I mainly just copied a bunch of guys, uh, guys' profiles, and just slapped together what I think would be good, and yeah, this is tech- Why didn't you, uh, name it, well, Wiped Gods? I don't know. I just couldn't help but think about the Wicked. Because it's a work in progress. Oh, hmm. Two wicked avatars and one uh, and one little D. Hmm. But yeah, I pretty much just copied a bunch of people and thought to myself, maybe the bestials could help me out with this deck. Hopefully. Yeah, I have Drew's one, right? Yeah, I have Drew's one. Have you been moody? I've been pre doing pretty good. You know, except for the fact that like the AC man didn't came. I'm really annoyed about that because <laughs> I canceled two streams for 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 that guy to come in and apparently he's waiting on a part to like fix my AC with like uh, the other day when uh, he said that he might come in tomorrow and then he just ended up not coming I don't know if this deck should go first or second um, and I'm assuming that the AC man is not gonna come over today because it's raining really hard and maybe he doesn't want to be bothered, or maybe he's still waiting on the- Oh god, that's a terrible hand. Um, hmm. Hey, first win! <laughs> I'm counting that. <laughs> Stream in the McDonald's parking lot on the phone. People will see me as a crazy man. <laughs> They'll just see me, like, talking to myself while on my phone or some shit. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe this deck should go second. But also the Wicked uh, Avatar is pretty good, going first. Um, but anyway, yeah. So, like, I don't know when he's gonna come over. It's also the reason why I'm starting early. Because I don't know if he's gonna come over, like... Around four, around six, two, one, I don't know. That's normal for a McDonald's parking lot. Ah. I don't know how I feel about that. And this is another terrible hand. And we win again! Hooray! They'll just think you're a, hom a homeless person or something? <laughs> I kind of look homeless, not gonna lie. <laughs> European? What about the Europeans? Okay, this guy is definitely a real person because no one would make that type of keyboard smash. Oh yeah, I'm also being a little quieter today. Um, because, um, my, my siblings, uh, sleeping. I don't want to wake them up. I guess, uh, unshaved, uncapped hair. Uh, yeah, and also I haven't been, like, showering that much. Depression, baby! 
Oh, hey. Okay, now that I think about it, I probably should add um Ring of Destruction to trigger the Guardian Slime, huh? Ooh, and maybe uh, Blazing Mirror Force. Weirdly enough, this is actually a good uh, hand. So I can't make you laugh? What about... What about laughing? I prefer bats. Yeah, bats are really nice. But sadly, my uh, my bath doesn't really work that well, so I can only do showers. That is that is quite the board, uh, keyboard smash. All right. Still annoyed about that AC man though. Like I canceled two streams for that guy and he di he didn't show up. Like what the fuck? My shower doesn't work that well, and unfortunately, uh, ha I have um, and I unfortunately have uh, just a shower. Damn. I hope you get that fixed soon. Who the fuck? Millennium Seeker? When you take a thousand or more battle damage, you could special summon this card from your hand. You can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard. With question mark attack, your opponent chooses one monster from their deck except a monster with question mark attack. Huh? You deal player shower? I know, right? It's kinda wild. I thought that was a myth, but apparently it was true. This guy is really thinking. I don't shower and bathe. Cool. I guess that's kind of, of a like a loophole, you know, fairy law. The whole like, you know. The technicality and whatnot. Battle phase. Okay. Wait, what? Bruh. Do they have another Millennium Seeker? Okay, apparently not. Never mind. Alright. Oh hey, we can summon the wicked uh the wicked dreadroot now. Uh do they have a light monster? They have a dark monster, alright. You AC man on the half of Moody Guts Gamer's challenge. Cha uh, on behalf of Moody Guts Gamer, challenge you to a do. Well, the rules are simple. <laughs> your your fits first is <laughs> Moody <Gu> <laughs> Moody's shotgun. Let the best man win. <laughs> Oh hey, here comes the Dreadroot. And now I activate Divine Evolution. We target the Dreadroot man. Oh man, that is a beefy boy.
Yeah, maybe I should have, like, Ring of Destruction or something. Oh! Huh, it works on everybody. I didn't know that. And now they send a guy. Wait, if I summon two Wicked Dreadroots, does that mean that they both become 2,000? Because it says, like, all other monsters on the field, so it includes each other. Damn. That sucks. This card is a lot worse than I thought. <laughs> I was just thinking to myself, like, oh, this isn't that bad. You know, it's basically a beat stick, but, like, it's a beat stick that hinders your other beat sticks. That actually happened in real life, duels kinda. As a handicap, some contestants would have to duel uh, the other person from a hole. From a hole? What? Crazy. Damn, imagine being so good at what you do, they just straight up handicap you so you don't play as good. And so far, so far, the, the Wicked Gods have a 100% win rate. It's kinda wild. Drop. Ooh. Tom and Jerry style, like you see a grown man defend himself from a single arm and shooting out of the grave, basically. <laughs> wow, Jeremy. All right, see you soon, Yuka. Hey, we won. Three wins. One hundred percent will win rate. I'm really glad that I'm back, though. Hmm. Alright, so... I think what I should do... Is, uh... Replace some of my cards. I think I should really play Ring of Destruction. Ring. I was thinking you could build elemental oh, sabers since they're really cheap and you can get most of the cards from the solo mode anyway. Hmm. I'll have to think about it. Uh, where, where, where? Where, bear? Bear. There. There's probably a person in who was playing D&D &D and played as a as a werebear. I wouldn't be surprised. You could become a bear as a druid. Speaking of D&D, &D, I found out that people in, uh, in death row would play D&D &D with each other. Which is kind of wild, not gonna lie. Like, they try to find all the pieces that they can, and like, even make their own, like, spinning wheel for like a dice. And then they play D and D, which is pretty sad. Not gonna lie. Oh my! Oh! Oh shoot! Sinful spoils Cut sleeves. I wonder if they're playing the Sinful Spoil. They're playing the Sinful Spoil. Imagine having people to play D&D with. I know, right? Couldn't be me. <laughs> Hmm. 
Hmm. I wonder why they put in the Seeker of Sinful Spoils. Okay, Poplar. Hmm? Oh boy. I am not a big fan of that. Look at Discord. I, I did. I, I am honestly impressed. Like, damn. <laughs> she truly had the upper hand. In a hole, tied b with your arm tied behind a, your back, and your and your opponent is someone with a bag of rocks. Who would win? My money's on the hole, man. Oh man, that's a lot of snakes. Actually, I wonder why they're called snake eyes. Oh, I guess that kind of looks like a snake eye, huh? they target? What did they target? Oh! They use Poplar to target the, the the dragon. I forgot about that. And then they use Oak to target the Poplar. Have you ever uh, watched King of the Hill out of curiosity? Uh, I've only seen like bits and pieces of it, of it when I was younger, but I never really watched it myself. Though I have heard from people that it's actually accurate from uh, about te ac it's an accurate display of Texas, which I find kind of funny. Though I think I had to watch it myself to get a proper like uh, what's the word? Proper judgment. But yeah. One hundred percent win rate, baby. <laughs> Four wins. Jeez. Hold on. Did this also happen today? No, this is today. Yeah, four wins in a row. Hell yeah. I am the best duelist in the world. How can you play if your opponent keeps uh, playing themselves? I know, right? Ow. My head's itchy. Ooh, tunes! Or this could be an FTK deck. You know, both of those are possible. Speaking of which, I was gonna make a. 
Oh, I just remembered a gimmick deck that I wanted to make. I really want to make a a gimmick deck with with um fortune ladies. And like I use fortune lady the fortune ladies to summon Tierra because it is quite possible now that I think about it. They can give me all the card advantage in the world. Uh, do I want to wait through this? I have no idea. Remember to drink your water, folks. Speaking of water, I found out about... So... Um... So I have, um... So there's this V... So I tend to watch VTubers sometimes, and one of my favorite VTubers, um... Recently graduated. So she doesn't do streams anymore. Um... Don't drink water, folks. Your body is 70% of it. <laughs> um, so anyway, um... So this v uh, this VTuber that I was a fan of, um, she graduated and I started watching some of her shorts again. And I re-watched the shorts where she was like a biological anomaly. And I listened to it again, much more closely. Apparently she actually didn't drink water for like two years. And she did not eh, suffer any dehydration symptoms. And honestly, I'm impressed. She truly is a biological anomaly. Yeah, and I thought my grandma was an anomaly, but apparently she was. VTuber are biological freaks, yeah. <laughs> True. They can have some wild things happen to them, and, they can, and they'll be fine. I don't think they realize that, um... Wait. Is this a bot? I know this sounds a little uh, harsh to say it, like, all of a sudden, but, like, you know, with the name like that, with the icons, and the rabbit, and the fact that, like, they seem to be having a strategy, but they keep going with it. I'm starting to wonder if they're a bot or not. But then again, they probably would have quit the moment that left arm uh, went away. So maybe not. But yeah, um, as I was saying, my grandma is kind of of a biological... <laughs> They're playing extra Link Exodia. <laughs> hey, that's my thing. <laughs> that would be really funny if they actually pulled it off. Or maybe the, your opponent's gonna summon four shooting star, uh, shooting quasar dragons. I would also be impressed. Just be like, damn, congratulations. <laughs> You've done the impossible, literally. Like, how did you summon a fourth one? Oh, monster reborn. Um. Oh yeah, my grandma's kind of, a, of a no an anomaly herself. Like, she smokes a lot. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is where like most of my family got their smoking, uh, smoking addiction from. And the thing is, every time she goes to the doctor for a checkup, she always says, I don't smoke. And the doctors would check the x-rays. 
and her lungs are completely healthy, as if they've never smoked a day in their lives. And, like, of course, the doctors just believe her. <laughs> Wait, are they... <laughs> oh, God. Hold up, I need to be quiet. Hold up. Uh, what the fu- They actually- They actually- They actually summoned Shooting Quasar Dragon. Bruh. Like, what the- I don't know what to say about this. I know these freaks like the back of my hand. Honestly, like, what the fuck? I'm kind of bamboozled by this. I don't even know what to say. This guy just straight up summons shooting Quasar Dragon in a... In a... In an Exodia deck. What the... F what? Oh no, they're about to special summon from their hand. But what if I use the rivalry of the warlord? Eh, that's fair. Okay, the white elephant's gift, he's gifting the elephant, or he's getting gifts from the elephant, I don't know. Man, I'm still impressed by shooting Quasar Dragon. Like, I don't know what to say. Hold on, what does, what does this black wing do again? Uh, if this card da, 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 it is treated as a tuner, when this card is synchro summoned, you can target one assault black wing in your graveyard, special summon it. And there she goes. There goes Ball Drake. Haha! -ha, you foolish fool! Now I gain defense. Once again, you are a foolish fool. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I didn't know I can attack twice. Ow. Huh. Well, I lose this. Oh man, I thought I was gonna win by like by like summoning the wicked eraser. X-rays are good at detecting lung diseases caused by smoking. Yeah. But apparently it can't track my my grandma's lungs. So my grandma is a medical anomaly. They can't really detect if you smoked or not, if that makes sense. Ah. Okay. I guess that does make sense, but still, like, she had so many checkups, and yet there's nothing that, like, s showcases that she's smoked. Infernoids! You can discard one a card, send one fiend monster from your deck to the graveyard. 
Oh no, wait. This ain't this ain't infernoids. What the heck? What are they adding? Eris? If this card is sent to the graveyard because of a card effect or being destroyed from battle, you can add one Archfiend card from your deck to the, your hand. Okay. Wait, what? A deal with the dark- <gasps> I now have a new gimmick deck idea. I have this person uh, here telling me that uh, they've been had an x-ray and smoking for 10 years and her doctors told them their lungs are good as oh room ID oh I don't have one yet uh, I should probably put one in soon also welcome to the stream Omen heart Blood test would be more fitting mm, to exposure and to expose your mom as, as a smoker. Here. I wouldn't be surprised if she had one and they couldn't tell either. I don't know. Um, I know that she's b uh, that she's also a medical anomaly in other ways, and I don't know how, but like people joke. But my family joke around that like one day everyone will be dead and she'll just be dancing on her graves <laughs> because, <laughs> because she just keeps on living. And I'm not a doctor either so maybe you shouldn't listen to me. Hmm, I don't know. Was having fun in Duelist Cup? I dueled uh, Punk Duelist. I only lost because I wanted to go overkill and summon Evita. Ah, damn. Oh, what the fuck? Ah, oh, Red Dragon Archfiend jump scare. But yeah, damn. Damn, that sucks. Well, at least you had a fun duel, though. When I couldn't finish with Obelisk. Mm. I love that you add random heart to summon cards in your for higher decks. It's really great. Oh no. Am I Dej? Probably Dej. Hold on, how does Rival Weave work? Uh, they can only control one type of monster. I deal with the Dark Ruler. <gasps> They're gonna summon the- Oh my god. It's her. The Berserk Dragon. Add Zushin to your friend. <laughs> You know, I tried to make a Zushin deck, but I found out that, like, the soft ones per turn doesn't really work that well. So, sadly, I think I really do have to go for, uh, a month, a wild monster appears. The Wicked Avatar. Okay. Okay, we're gonna gonna add you to the hand. Activate Magma Hut. Back. Hello, Yuka. Welcome to the stream. Uh, you need a way to shuffle all your Zushins back into the deck and draw them again. Yeah, but that's 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 exactly what I did. But then it just didn't work. <gasps> Perfect. Maybe. I don't know. Um. Would Ojama's work uh, with Dust? Would Ojama's with Dustin's work? Um. Hmm. I don't know. Bindish Golem. One monster on the field. Ah, 
All right. Entirely sure. Hmm. Because, you know, like, Ojamas are beasts, and Dustin's are fiends. They could utilize Lynx well, but I don't know about anything else. The next deck I want to build is Zombie Elvich Mayakashi. I s I saw someone uh, play Maxi and lose due to infinite zombie summons. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what they can do. Yeah, they're gonna have to negate with Despotter. <clears throat> I kind of wish that they used Despotter at some point, but... But oh well. Block three fields and then use house dustins to summon uh, two dustins on the opponent's field. Mm, maybe. No. You can't tribute them. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting to keep in mind. Uh, I'm gonna put the Rings of Destruction. I mean, if all goes well... What was that animation? Uh, what animation? The, the Red Reboot? Yeah, Red Reboot is a really powerful card. So, they gave it an animation. What the f- What was that? Scarlet Security? Destroy all spells and traps if you control an Red Dragon Archfiend. Wow. Okay. They attack with that. Come on. Attack me with the next one. And now, I summon... You. You can still link some. Hmm. That is true. I did see the that one duel. Oh no. What am I gonna do? Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, uh, Bane. Hmm, alright. Red Zone. Trans Flags? Hell yeah, Trans Rights. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be winning this one, boys. What's that? Bone Archfiend. Are you playing Darkness, uh, Darkness Neosphere? It's practically the combo finisher for Wicked's. Uh, I am not. Maybe I should. I mean, Darkness Neosphere is a lot cooler than everything else. Also, welcome to the stream, Time Thief Pretzel. The roll. Uh, play Dinos? I would love to, but Dinos are expensive. I'll get there eventually. Hold on, 
I want to at least summon a uh, wicked avatar. Oh. Oh wait. Oh, okay. I summon the wicked avatar. Water, earth, fire, air. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. But then everything changed when the Fire Nation attack. Only the Avatar, master of all four elements, can stop them. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. That's it. That's the end of the story. <laughs> Yeah, we're basically fucked. Ah, five monsters. Yep, that's a lot of monsters. Not gonna lie. Let me see what dark Neosphere. Imagine Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. I know, right? All right, let's see. Uh, Neo. Neosphere. So what does he do again? Uh, cannot be normal summon or set. This card cannot be special summon except by sending one fiend monster you control and one fiend type monster from your hand to the graveyard when your opponent declares an attack. Hmm. That's pretty cool. This card cannot be destroyed by battle. Once per turn you can return all face up trap cards you control to the hand. That would be really easy, yeah, really difficult to do, but maybe one day. Aang dies of hyperthermia inside the iceberg, and the Fire Nation take their rightful place as leader of the world. Yep, that's how the that's how the story ends. I would appreciate that speech even more if you were playing dual avatar. Set at every word twice, <laughs> and I recommend Zalamander Cat. What? Huh? Is Z Zalamander Catalyst Cat? Catalysker cap and Amman um, no Kuja. Huh? I don't know what I'm reading, but I'm reading something. But yeah, that would be funny for me to do. Like, play dual avatar, and every time I summon the boss monster, I just say the speech twice. <laughs> Zalamander Catalyst. Sir, hmm. Now the question is, are you gonna do something? Are you gonna do something, Ed Boy? Come on, Ed Boy. What you gonna do, Ed Boy? Oh, wow, they just said, okay. I dueled a ti mm, Time Thief deck and I won. Nice. Uh, hmm. Maybe I should play like burn cards, like, um, like that one burn card that burns everybody. That would be useful. Send one spell trap on the field, then you. Ah! Salamander said correctly. Uh, catalyst. Catalyst. Or catalyst, but with an er, uh, like in wiser, and amano kujaki is um, amano kujaki. Okay. 
Wait, we still exist? Yeah, apparently the time thieves have always been time thieving. Uh, yeah, I lose this. Alright, hold on. Maybe there's something I can do to make it better. Make this deck better. Hmm. Maybe I should... Hmm. Maybe I should focus on being a fiend. Like, instead of trying to focus on... Uh... Well, I think maybe I should keep that card. Alright, maybe get rid of... Define... No, maybe? I don't know. Amano, Kujai, Salamander, and Neosphere. Okay, maybe I should look those guys up. Amano, Kujai... Amano... Oh, a man... a mano. A mano. Oh wait, who? Huh? Who's this one? Uh, you cannot special. You cannot activate the effects of other special summon monsters with the same attribute as this card. Once per turn, during the main phase of this card's owner, you can uh, give control of this card to your opponent. Then, you, uh, the activating player, can make this card become any attribute until the end of the turn. Ah, oh, okay. Possibly Sky Blaster? Sky Blaster. I was thinking of like maybe going for like the that one. Oh, that guy. Okay. Um what, what? Oh, Phantom Sky Blaster? Oh, when this card is normal or flip summon, you can special summon any number of Sky Blaster tokens, up to the number of monsters you control. Uh, once per turn, you can inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each Sky Blaster. Okay. Z Alamander special summons any f fiend, including her. Uh, she's a tuner, ignoring the effect. Okay, maybe I should consider these guys in Salamander. I feel like Salamander starting to, to ring a bell. Hold on. Salamander Catalyster. You can reveal this card and one fiend monster in your hand. Special summon one of them, then discard the other. When a monster is destroyed by battle... Hmm... Okay... Special summon one of them and discard the other. When a monster is destroyed by battle involving that being monster. Okay. Maybe I should play these cards. Hold on. Yeah, maybe I should make this deck focus more on like beans and whatnot. Let me get rid of these guys. Primal Seed is not uh, once per turn. Yeah, I'm aware of that. But, uh,. Not really a big fan of Primal Seed. Uh, let's see. Phantom Sky Blaster might be useful. Do you think maybe... Hold on. Does this card activate in the hand? Yes. Okay. Uh, hmm. Wait. Wait, is this effect, like, an activated effect? Or is this effect, like, just a summoning condition? I think this is an activated effect. Um, Neosphere? Okay, I'll check out Neosphere. Neos. Yes, it's an activated effect. Alright. Yeah, I was just wondering because, like, um, because I was thinking about using Time Tearing Morgonite. 
but maybe that's not a good idea. Hmm. Or maybe I should just play like a bunch of level 3 fiends and play, um, what's her name? Uh, tour guide. Uh, sending one fiend monster. Yeah, maybe I could play tour guide. Sky Blaster and Zalamander seems a little difficult to utilize. Hold on, is this when it's normal or special? No, normal or flipped. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'll keep those guys in mind for when I want to to make another deck. I think I might go for tour guide and just go for the the DDD engine. Salamander is at any level though. Wait, what do you mean? It's level four. Special summon one of them. What does a uh, Neosphere does in this deck exactly? Um, I heard, uh, well, from what I've heard, it's apparently like an end board thing. Any fiend? Yeah. <gasps> Oh, wait, are you saying that it could be special summoned? Wait, but wait, but these guys can't be special summoned. Never mind. Uh, okay. Yeah, maybe maybe I should just go for a uh, tour guide. Oh, great. I press R3 too much. Oh, hey, I fixed it. Okay. It's just a free uh, special summon for all for them though. Yeah, but these guys can't be special summoned. Hmm. All right, let me look at some level three fiends. Yeah, I think fiends might be easier to utilize in this deck. Um. Hmm. Oh wait, fiend, fiend. Fiend. For a tribute. Ah. Hmm. It's a, a very convoluted free summon. Hmm. Okay. Oh, hey, I have Soul Resonator. I forgot about that. Um. Hmm. You have this one. If your monster declares an attack at the start of the damage step, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard, then target one level 8 fiend monster. That requires a level 8 fiend monster. Hmm. To a bus from the underworld. We also have Fiendish Shrine of Warrior. Play tunes. Tunes are pretty expensive. Hmm. Let me see. What fiends could I play? Man, there are not a lot of level 3 fiends. Especially level f in three fiends that are good. <clears throat> and they suck. Unchain is level three? Ooh! Oh man, I completely forgot about Unchains. Okay, maybe I could play Unchains with this. Oh hey, there they are. Yeah, the Burning Abyss archetype truly doesn't exist. Yeah, it's a myth. And they also suck, apparently. Or from what I've heard. <laughs> A mano Kujai. It, let me see how... How good Amano Kujai is. Amano Kujai. I feel like I'm spelling it wrong continuously. Amano Kujaki. I keep... I don't know why I'm mis misreading it all the time. Stitching Street Patrol, maybe? Yeah, I kind of... Jeez, okay, so maybe I shouldn't... Uh, so maybe I should throw away the Bestial Engine. It's just a level 3 Fire t uh, f Fiend Tuner? Ah, alright. Uh, sure. 
Maybe. I don't know. Uh, Stygian Street Patrol. Street Patrol. Wait, what? Oh. Wait, huh? Does the street patrol not exist? Oh, I was looking for level 3 guys. If this card destroys a monster by battle, inflict damage equal to the original monster's level times 100. Uh, you can banish this card, special summon one fiend with 2000 or less attack from your hand. Hmm. Hmm. I'll play one, and I'll play like Fiendish Rhino Warrior. Uh, Rhino. Tripacabra is a fiend, and Tsuchinoko is level three. Uh, but Tsuchinoko is a reptile. Hmm. You can send one fiend monster. Okay. Yeah, I can probably use um. Fiendish Rhino Warrior for like staging Street Patrol's effect. And then I can probably play like this and this and maybe. Hmm. Maybe take out that. Uh, I don't really need these. Uh, I'll put these in. Uh, maybe these. Add you, add you, add. You, there's I don't I only have one uh, and then we get like there uh, we get the DDD Darius Bro Street performer er, is just a worse salamander hmm should I just play hmm dang there's too many options <laughs> You need the trap cards for Unchain? Yeah, I I have them now. You could play Fiendish Rhino Warrior, summon it uh, with a uh, link tour guide, link it away for f and foolish for a fiend. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about staging Street Patrol. Um, play Gift of Creed. Hmm, maybe. I don't know. What does Gift of What is Gift of Creed? Hold on, I think I have a message. Ah. Uh, your opponent draws two cards. <laughs> no, I will not. <laughs> I will not play that. Um, maybe I should just look at Salamander again. I like the name Salamander. It's like Salamander, but, it's, but cooler. It's about as useful as Bistro Butcher. <laughs> well, I mean, at least Bistro Butcher is a beat stick. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with this. Wait, hold up. Better not forget. Uh, what was his name? His name was Deus. Yeah. Oh, right. I need to batch. Batch some bitches. Do I need am amano amana amana? I don't know. And play cold feet. What's cold feet? Hold on, let me look at cold feet. You could just use burning abyss with Cherubini as tribute engine. Mm. You need cold feet. <laughs> no, my feet are too cold. I don't wanna. Um, well, I mean, yeah, Trubini is pretty good, but I don't think I can play Burning Abyss because, um, Burning Abyss is very xenophobic, so I can't really play it with other guys. So, I, but I can play Trubini, he's the least xenophobic one. <laughs> 
If you want synchros, mm, troop me fixes that. Well, yeah, but still. Like, I kind of have to rely on two Garnets, you know? Then again, almost. Then again, I'm pretty sure I have a bunch of Garnets here. And Rhino Warrior, but I'm not really gonna summon Rhino Warrior that often. I'm mainly using Rhino Warrior to summon. Uh, to use Stygian Street Patrol. An unfortunate report is a great card. I'll check that out. Uh, unfortunate. Oh, well, I could just put unfortunate. I don't think there's a lot of. Uh, uh, la, 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 la. <laughs> Your opponent conducts the their battle, next battle phase choice. <laughs> that card is me. <laughs> that is such a funny card. What? Wow. Okay. Um. So we have Deus Ex Machina. Uh. Do we put access code? I guess we do. Or maybe we should put uh, a white woman. I forgot her name. Mm, let me look for the white woman. Play Yujo Friendship? Uh, I would love to play Yujo Friendship, but I do not have the Yujo Friendship. Okay, maybe this deck will be better. I hope so, actually. Oh no. Wait, I was looking down for a second. I'm going. Oh, well, I'm going first. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw the freaking um, the thing you sent Firewall, the fucking Shaman King of the Hill. <laughs> oh hey, I can do things. Okay, we are summoning this one. Elio, Marcus of Darkness is a good, good, uh, good target for Zalamander. What was that noise? Huh? What happened? Uh, I could link into Cherubini, or I could link into IP Mascarena, and then we can summon uh, your boy. I think that outfit uh, suits Hank. It's his cool kid's outfit. <laughs> True. Yeah, that truly does look like a card, an outfit where he hang he tries to fit in with the kids. Okay. Uh wait. Oh, I think I did something wrong. Ah oh, shite. Hmm. I'm kinda screwed, not gonna lie. <clears throat> hold on, hold on. This only requires like two effect monsters, right? No, it requires an unchained soul. Fuck. Hmm? Oh no. Woody, how old is your cousin? Which one? I have a lot. Oh wait, I can I can flip this guy. Battle Fader is a fiend? Not really the best fiend, I'm not gonna lie. The one that's sleeping? Oh, that's not my cousin, that's my sibling. But I don't... Uh, your Canadian cousin? <laughs> what? 
How close do you think I am to Canada? <laughs> Oh, hey, it's a bot. <laughs> edge and Saber would work in this deck? Uh, what, do, what would Edge and Saber do, though? Where part of my family tree goes. It's a fiend type uh, plague spreader that doesn't banish itself. Ooh. I'll check that out then. Man, sometimes fiends just feel like, um. Moody, I'm your cousin from the Shadow Realm? Damn. <laughs> what happened there? It also summons uh, itself from the grave forever. Hmm. Cool. Alright. I'll keep that in mind then. Ah, shoot. Hmm. Kinda screwed, not gonna lie. Texas basically borders Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if long Texas exists, that's why it's so hot. Canada, I don't think Canada is hot. a joke? Which one? C Canada is near the equator? <laughs> Alright, um, so, I don't know what they, they're doing. I don't think they have a monster and so, like, the, the bot is just freaking out. Do you think maybe I can summon the wicked? Huh? So is India? India is Texas confirmed. Okay, so I think I can, uh, kill. Wait, why couldn't I activate Stygian thingamabob? No, India is much more Nordic. It's a much more Nordic country. <laughs> yeah, everybody knows that at, um... Everybody knows that Australia is in the down-upper. Hold on, am I locked into something? Oh, I don't have access code, right. I heard that's where Dutch Braid is from? Hmm. Nice. China is the capital of Niger? Hmm. Crazy. Crazy? You know, I was crazy once. Lock me up in a room. A red room. A red room of rats. And I hate rats, they made me go crazy. Imagine having so much confidence in your shitposts, you actually make people second guess themselves. <laughs> yeah. I really want to do that to someone. Like, just be so blank in, like, what I'm saying and treating it like the truth that, like, that, like, people are just confused on what to say. 
That is called Schrodinger's Irony, baby. Oh, nice. I didn't know that uh, Schrodinger had a baby. My hamster is doing that. Doing what? Shit posting? That's pretty cool. Your hamster has became advanced. Standing here. Ah. Standing here. Who baked a ham? Hunter. Who baked a hamsters into my muffin? I don't know, man. Someone who really likes to eat hamster. They should add v uh, VC and Nashville. <laughs> God, the amount of toxicity would be like insane. I'll tell you what. But then again, I feel like if it's like fine in other websites, it's going to be fine here. Oh, hey, uh, I'm gonna no, 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 no. I'm gonna summon her just for the funny. Doing the funny. You know, we could also go into a level six. As for which one, I'm not entirely sure. You would hear me scream because you didn't let me summon house Dustin. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to, uh, I forgot to do the thing on my bob, and I should also put in my Discord. Uh, room capacity, uh, billion. Okay. Room ID. Uh, who? Who's this? One six two seven seven zero. Discord. Uh, right here. I would love to see master lobbies uh, to reach COD level of screaming and cursing. <laughs> yeah, that would be nightmarish. Nah, I'd lose. Alright, I'll duel you. Get this age now? No. I think they're fine. Oh. I must say Hank actually kind of rocks the in that outfit. Yeah. Like damn. How did they do it so well? Like, I thought that Hank would just be like, like, you know, every outfit is pretty eh on him, but turns out, no, apparently he works well with, as the Shaman King, or whatever that guy is. I don't know, I haven't watched the Shaman King. Probably should. I heard they're making a remake of the Shaman King. I don't know if it's out yet or, or not. Yeah, 
how they're making a remake? Alrighty. <clears throat> They'll release it in 2021? Wait a second. <laughs> wait. Wait, isn't it... I wrecked? Oh, no. Uh... I'm a summon... You. I really need to make that Dustin deck. Bowling time. Yeah, it has been out for a bit. Ah, okay. It's on Netflix if you're interested. Alright. Maybe one day. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yay. <gasps> oh. Hiccups. That was unpleasant. I'm, I watched it because uh, because I'm nostalgic to the OG Shaman King show. Hmm. Nice. Oh no! It's a house dustin. Wait, what? Wait, I thought the house dustin was supposed to. And this face up card on the field. Oh, it has to be face up. Hmm. Damn. That's kind of... Hmm. You know, I was actually thinking about, like, potentially... Like, using Dark Hole. Oh, wait, but it has to be by an opponent's effect. Damn. It took, it really took a sec to realize you're not in 2021 anymore. Yeah, I know, right? Honestly, like, 2020 to 2023, like, it felt so long and so fast at the same time. I did not like it one bit. Like, geez, it feels like one huge year to me. It was terrible. And here comes the Dusty Boys. Dust time. Hold on, does this ignore summoning conditions? No, okay. So Stardust doesn't work with this. Oh man, oh man, oh man, what? Why did it happen? Wait, why did it die? Huh? Why did Dustin die? Wait, hold on. You can special summon... Uh... Can I join uh, with my uh, own Wicked deck? It's mostly a yeah, different archetype, but meh. Alright, I'm down. Oh, rip combo? What happened? I am so con- I'm kinda confused, not gonna lie. Hmm. 
Do you think maybe like D Bellstar could work with these guys? Hmm. I'm confused too. Yeah, I was. I'm just like, where did the where did the blue boy go? The blue boy just died for no reason. What? Hey. Uh, hmm. Skip turn. You know what? You spitting. I want to see. I want to see the Dustins be Dustinin. Or no gay. Wait, what are you trying to say? Or are you gay? Or because, like, you know, that doesn't really work on me. You know, I'm already gay. Oh, Jack in the Ham. Or no gay? Oh, no gay. Okay. Wait, he skipped turns. That means he's um gay. No! You can only control one blue dust. In oh! Huh. That is so weird. Uh. I'm gonna add this one to my hand. Yeah, Jack in the Hand is not really as... Not really good. Not gonna lie. Oh, wait, 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 it works for all fiends? Oh no. I'm about to take some damage. Ah, so that's what Goblin King is for. It's basically like Stardustin, but better. I have lots of options, but I don't know what to do. Hmm. All of the Dustins outside of Stardustin uh, have the, you can only control one in face up per up copy. Interesting, which is also kind of weird because Stardust and, like, like, removes all Dustins from the field from what I remember. What do I do? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna go for this. Yeah. Another victim of illiteracy? Hmm. Yeah. Wait, shit. Oh wait, what? Oh, apparently I can only target one Dustin guy. Or, not one Dustin guy. Uh, uh yeah. I looked away for a second. Ah! No! Hold up. Uh, so... Oh, did you accidentally attack me? You know what? Yeah, you won. Good game, Yuka. You basically won. You just misclicked right there. I won't capitalize on it. 
Yay. Yay. <laughs> Thanks, Pookie. Please don't call me Pookie. Again? You know what? Sure. Also, I do want to say, like, I welcome anyone to come into to the duel room. Like, anyone can duel me. Or duel chat, if you like. You know, the more the merrier. I'll like, I'll let fate decide. Okay, Antonio. My name's not Antonio. Oh wait, huh? I'm going first? It is now? No, that's not how names work. a really bad burp. Uh, ah. Excuse me. <clears throat> you know, I just realized I could have just... <sighs> I feel like I'm getting hit by every single status effect. I wonder if there's a way to abuse a uh, Watt Hopper in, to in today's meta. Uh, let me look up Watt Hopper and see see what what can be done with that. Oh. The Watt Hopper lock is basically hmm. I gotta look up Watt Hopper. Watt Hopper. Oh, uh, what a burger! Man, I want to have Water Burger. If you control two or uh, two of them. Your opponent can't attack you, nor can, uh, nor target your monsters with card effects. Why Dustin's effect is funny? Yeah, it's the proudest of them all. Proudest of them all. I mean, it's quite possible. It, if you could... Um, but yeah, it's quite possible if you, like, um, because I know, like, stuff like, uh, what's that card called? Soki Boss can be, um, can cause a lock. <laughs> Two Watt Hoppers backed up by, uh, by Floodgates. Yeah. Honest Yu-Gi-Oh, just as uh, Takashi Takahashi intended. Yeah, I'm summon this one. I'm not gonna use the effects because I don't feel like it. Wait, couldn't wait? Wouldn't that be like beneficial? Oh, the yellow Dustin. The Watt Hopper Lock really is the best Watts can do. <laughs> True. Watts freaking suck. 
Honestly, it's very funny that Konami puts Watts in the same pack as, um... Thunder Dragons. Tragodia is a fiend? Ooh, true. But I don't know how much Tragodia can help me. In, like, these plays. Oh! <sighs> Good game! I wrecked? Hmm. But it will be funny. You know what? I'll add, like, one Tragodia. Maybe I should lower the amount of cards I have in general. Like, maybe get rid of this, because it's too good. And... Dragodia. Drago. There you are. Oh yeah, Edgem Sabers. You saw the power of Goblin? Yeah. The Goblin King was truly powerful, indeed. Uh, let me see... Oh no, I am glitching now. Okay, okay, I fixed it. Uh, where are Sabers? Sabers. If this card is in your graveyard, you can place one card from your hand on top of the deck. Special summon it in defense position. Please do not call me that. <laughs> you can... I, um, okay, maybe I could play like two of these. Neat. Or maybe I could play one more dude. See, lev uh, level 3 Plague Spreader that can infinitely be used. Yeah, it's quite surprising. Plus, Tour Guide can fetch it. Ooh, true. So, Moody Kid? Uh, so, who's, uh, who's Moody Kid in here? Seems like Moody Kid and uh, and Yuka are gonna be dueling each other. Should I spectate it or should I just uh, go about my merry way and like duel people with this new deck? and make a, an accurate map of the US so I can add the states that actually exist. <laughs> True. We gotta stop being misinformed, you know? Yeah, I think I'm gonna be dueling other people. Wicked. And discard the government propaganda such as South Dakota. Yeah. Like... What even goes on in South Dakota, huh? Sounds fake. Yeah, because it sounds fake to me. Why do they need two Dakotas? Isn't one Dakota enough, government? Huh? Huh, Mr. President? Isn't one Dakota enough? Hmm, suspicious. You think I can play Unchained with Ra? Haha, <laughs> you foolish fool, currently being foolish. I can chain. What does Diamond Dustin do? Uh, I forgot. 
It's like when a card gets destroyed, you special summon a Dustin or something. I can't remember. Oh, speaking of which, maybe I should. That's what I should change with the Dustin deck. Oh, come on, let me play the game. I want to link that supports flip monsters. I think there is, but I don't think it's that good. It would be nice though. Oh no, Sword Soul. Yeah, we are boned. B O N E D. Boned. Rap. Oh. Oh man. Uh, I think I need to eat more peppermints or something because I am feeling gassy. Something like link materials, uh, one flip monster, and one, and when this card is special summon, activate the effects of the flip monster used for this special summon. Ooh, that would be interesting. As though it was flipped. You know what? I'll see what's going on in this duel. Back. Hello, Time Thief Pretzel. I am currently looking at a duel between uh, Yuka and this person named Moody Kid, who I don't know who is this. Okay, Extrav. I almost summon Morphing Jar, link it away, and draw five. Yeah, that would fix your deck. Oh, Crimson Gaia. What the fuck? Huh? Hey, yo. Oh, summon Cyberchar or Link it away. Summon five monsters. Jesus. I have arrived. Hello, arrived. I am Moody. What is what? Hey, I don't know what is going on here. This deck is going in fifty different directions, and I kind of like it. Not gonna lie. Oh, huh? Earthbound Servant Geo Grem Gremlina. What did they add? Ah! Uh, hold up, hold up, I need to fix this. It's still not fixed! Ah oh, man, I, sh I knew I shouldn't have pressed R3 so many times! Oh, hey, it fixed itself. Alright. Everything's fine. No, it did not. It was just stuck in an animation. Okay. Frick. Okay. Wait, no. Mm. Trying to fix this stupid analog stick. Oh, I've never seen this card before. What? Earthbound Greater Line Walker. Okay. It's the new Earthbound Immortal Support? Yeah. I have no idea what they do. They do something. And they apparently fuse as well. But I don't know what else they do. You could also play Abyss Actor Extras. I don't know what Abyss Actor Extras do. 
or any abyss hacker for that matter. They go boom. Hmm. All right. Summon itself from the pendulum zone once, and it's a fiend. Isn't isn't that the one with the once per duel effect? Hey, they're fiend. Ooh. All you need to do is summon one gobbo. Speaking of, speaking of goblins, I can't wait for the new goblin support to come out. That's why I said it once, yeah. Anyone up for a duel uh, against my shitty TD wicked deck? Hmm. I'm honestly down. Oh, yeah. But like after, maybe after this duel is over? But if someone uh, else is willing to duel, I'm I'm okay with like waiting. Goblins aren't into an archetype, you know. I'm pretty sure there's like at least, I I'm pretty sure at some point uh, there's gonna be an ar archetype of goblins. Uh, this can attack directly. Oh damn! You should add a curtain. Uh, maybe. I forgot that- I honestly forgot that the Earth Bounce can attack directly. <laughs> Bruh. Alright, I'm down to duel ya. When I lost my life points, I have no idea. Uh... No, seriously, add Curtain Razor? Oh, okay. Now at least check it. I'll check it, uh, afterwards. Stop giving him cards, my deck is bad. Alright. Uh, what was it? Oh yeah, so like, there's like a goblin deck in in the OCG, and I can't wait for it to come out, especially for Master Duel. Especially since like, they have a lot of supports for goblins, and apparently they can search goblins. They have a card that can search any goblin, even the old ones. So apparently they can search mine goblin. Which is honestly busted. Can't wait to search mine goblin. No one is gonna fall for my mind goblin joke, but one day, one of you guys are gonna fall for it. One of you guys are gonna fall for my mind goblin joke. Click on you know, chandelier in, in the top left. I sadly can't look, click at the things, which sucks. I don't understand how Yu-Gi-Oh took 25 years to get a, mm, to get uh, to get to goblins. Yeah, me neither. Kinda wild, not gonna lie. Oh, huh? What happened? Uh... My goblin is just below Shogun and as my favorite monster. Shogun, he's not. <laughs> I should add a Gobbo for uh, Yuka. I want my own card. One day. My switch died. Lamau. Ah. Okay then. We don't even have a proper elf archetype? Huh. That's weird to consider. Or a proper orc archetype. You know what? I'm gonna duel this moody kid. I don't know who they are though. I wish they could tell me in the chat. It, it kind of freaks me out whenever, like, people would... Or maybe... Wait, hold on. Is this the same person who... Who was Moody... Who would, called themselves Moody's student? I had the perfect hand, too. Damn. This ain't magic. Well, I mean, I feel like 
Yukio can do whatever it wants with like. Uh, I feel like Yukio can do whatever it wants, and you know, I feel like it's cool to have it have a. Uh, that. Considering how Yu-Gi-Oh ripped uh, from magic, I'm genuinely surprised they took this long for goblins. Yeah. I'm also surprised. Besides, like, uh, I feel like, um, I feel like I would be, like, more interested with some Yu-Gi-Oh cards than just uh, that are orcs and, and whatnot. Oh man, nothing happened. Where was I going with that? Oh yeah, I would be like a lot more invested in Yu-Gi-Oh with like if they included stuff like orcs and elves and dwarf archetypes. Just to be, you know, funny and whatnot. You know what? I'm gonna go for these. I spent all of my money on goblins if they come out. Oh. Be careful when you save. Oh wait, be careful be careful with your money, then. Our original? Uh. I'll give my first edition troll. Ooh, nice. Oh man, Earthbound Prison. B Bacna. You can target one effect monster your opponent controls. This card gains this effect. All well, those cards uh, negate the effects of that face up monster while it's on the field. Fuck! They just casually have a negate? They didn't even. T oh man. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm definitely dead. Yu-Gi-Oh isn't stealing ideas. Never mind the VTuber Dragon Maid and Dark Souls archetype. Yep. <laughs> Honestly, the Dark Souls archetype goes hard, not gonna lie. As a Dark Souls player, um, congrats on Yu-Gi-Oh. I also love the art style too. It's way less anime and more Dark Souls, you know? Like if someone were to tell me this is a Dark Souls trading card game, I would have believed them. The fuck is it the Dark Souls archetype? Because Ashend is based on Pompeii, also Yu-Gi-Oh! Dragon Maids came first. Do they really? Hold on. But like at but like a lot of the characters seem to take inspiration from like um from a lot of the ashen archetypes take inspiration from Dark Souls. Like the the girl, she looks strikingly similar to the Firekeeper. And I can't remember what the which one it was, but they kinda reminded me of Godfrey from Elden Ring, which is quite interesting. So let me see, like, Dragon Maids... Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, first uh, release. I'm gonna look this up. Zork is goaded? Nice. Playing style. The. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, hold on. I need to look up something else. Ah, oh, shoot. What? Ah. Oh. Huh? Gain life points equal to that monster's attack? Sure. Check the Discord then? Uh, sure. I'll check it in a bit. Let me just, uh... I'm still, like, hyper-focused on, like, when the Dragon Maids came out. Okay, uh... Da, 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 da. The archetype. This archetype was inspired by Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Da, 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 da. I can't see. There's an ad. Oh, hey, I can add this to my hand. Nice. Uh, stop giving me ads. Weakness. References. Okay, it's still not giving me anything about, like, the release date. Okay, what if I just put release date? That was fun. I thought they did. Hmm. Uh, when were they released, though? Good game, Moody Kid. I was absolutely destroyed. I did not have much to do to do against you. Oh wait. Oh wait. Yeah. Hold up. I'm going to say this. Thanks for the duel. Oh, I I can't duel again. Sorry, Moody Kid. Mr. Kobayashi's Dragon Maid came out in 2017, while Dragon Maids came out in 2019. Ah. All right. Good to know. Gun, gonna. Oh, speaking of which, I need to check out Discord. Um, you could send something. Uh, is it just the the photo thing? That's quite a, that's quite a nice drawing. Okay. Uh, who am I? What am I doing? I'm clearly doing something. They have a response, and if they do anything, I can just triple tactics. That guy has BBL? Who's... what's BBL? Alright, maximum C. I think I should. BBLD? Huh? I think I'm gonna go for this one because he, he floats. We all float down here. You will float too. Okay, so, all I need to do is rip one card away from him. Okay. <sighs> I am gonna struggle. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do anything now. That was annoying. 
Damn, brain kids are expensive? Yeah. It's kind of surprising, not gonna lie. Streaming for almost two hours. Hmm. Good to know. Ooh. All right. Normal summon tour guide from the underworld. Activate tour guide. Special summon the saber boy. Then we go into this one. Activate Trubany, Ebon Angel of the Burning Abyss. Send Fiendish Trino Warrior. Increase its attack. Activate the Rhino Warrior. And then we send... I have no idea who to send. Uh, Salamander? Yeah, I guess Salamander. Then we activate... Edgeimp Sabers. Return this to the top of the deck. Hmm. There's not really a lot of stuff I can do now that I think about it. Yeah, if this was uh if this was a different card, I probably could have done something more. Why do I keep getting um what's his name? S Sarama instead of Ashuna or Ashu Ash Ash Ah Aru Aruha. Valmander has a graveyard effect, so he, uh, so he's happy in the graveyard. All right. Salamander looks so cool too. Oh. Hmm. I don't like this. But I do have the, um, the Kurikata. Uh, I am not a big fan, though. I am not a big fan, not one bit. Switch recharge, uh, ready for Mimi. All right. Cash and swords are revealing light. Yeah, I know. All oh, right. What a weird combo. I mean, you have plenty of floodgates to choose from. I don't know why you would choose swords of revealing light of all of them. happen to you moody yeah yeah i don't know why they my opponents are so obsessed with using sort of revealing light against me specifically i've been sort of revealing light i've been uh magic cylinder i've been m mirror forced i've been so many people use some old ass cards against me and it's quite surprising This man is running Mirror Force and Magic Cylinder, you know they do? Yeah. They're definitely the type. There are Yuki Boomer and who thought to themselves, I have to use the meta, but I refuse to let go of my old cards.
Oh, man, I need to yawn. I really want to tribute everything they have. I can't wait to do it. Alright, they're gonna summon what's their face? Shengi Ra. Hold on, it's like uh it's like any monster that activates uh the effects. Right? Uh by tripping th uh, this turn. Wait by tripping all face-up monsters on the field that activated their effects this turn. Alright. Oh boy, there goes my everything that's really good. This man is... oh, I already read that. Oh hey, chat glitch. That hasn't happened in a long time. Define fun? Uh... F is for friends that do stuff together, U is for you and me, N is for anyone, and it, I'm at all uh, down here in the deep blue sea. Hiya. Hello, I'm in heart. Welcome back to the stream. Fluffles, playing kids, and Dustins. Mm-hmm. Yawn. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Oh, I think I need to lower the amount of Saramas that I have. I'm back and I think I defeated Snake Eyes, maybe? Nice. What do you mean, maybe, though? Is there any normal spells in the game that uh, stays on the field after it resolves? I can only think of, like... Swords of Revealing Light and uh, Nightmare Steel Cage, I think? Up for a game? Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna check out the Abyss Actor. Maybe I should play less of some of these cards. Uh, what was it? Like, Curtain Razor, which is weird. And what was the other one? Extras? Uh, you could tribute this card, place one Abyss Actor monster. Uh, you cannot special summon monsters except for... Uh, yeah. If your opponent controls a monster, you can special summon this card from your Pendulum Zone. You can only use this effect of, um, once per turn. Alright, interesting. I'll just play two of them. Or one of them. And I'll remove the amount of Saramas I have because they, I have too many. Too many. Alright, I am down to duel. <laughs> Hold on, I'll stand still. I'll stand still. There. Wait, what? Current Razor is much better. Hmm. Alright. F is for friends that do stuff together. U is for you and me. N is for anyone and any time at all. Down here in the deep blue sea. F is for fire that burns stuff down. U is for uranium bombs, N is for nuclear warfare, down here in the deep blue sea. <laughs> I made this deck 10 minutes ago, I'm gonna pull them out. Alright. My hand is level 85, is all level 8s. Oh! Oh, damn. 
Ay. Don't worry, my hand is not looking too hot either. Like, on a scale of, like, 1 to 10, on the hotness level, it's basically, like, um, that very uncomfortable lukewarm. You feel me? Alright, I'm a... I'm a go... I'm a go into you. I like how I just have a random Tragodia. Uh, oh. Okay, um, we can send this one. Oh no, it's DDD into Pain Gainer into 77. Oh, it's Cherubini. Yeah. It's just Cherubini. You know, I haven't even thought of that combo. Hmm. Maybe I should consider. Uh, so we go here. I have no idea what to do next. I love that my attack just goes over you. All three sabers, yep. Give me a few. Uh, give me a few minutes to enter the room and and the replay of the duel public. And oh, and make the replay of the duel public. I'm doing work right now. Wait, which which thing? Oh, wait. What happened? Um. Why do you say Cherubini? That's that's how it's pronounced. Or is it Cherubini? Cherubini? Ch Luigi Cherubini? Uh, Cherubini? Uh, I don't know. The Snake Eyes replay? Which what? Hmm. I, th I think you might. May or may not be immune to Cerberus, so I'm down to try. Yeah, for true bin beanie. I feel like I don't know. True beanie sounds like someone's joking around with me, like Luigi Cherubini. Man, Dark Neosphere is so cool. Uh, what else was I gonna say? Hmm. I don't know. I also believe that Trubini should have, like, an animation. I think it would go sick with one. Huh? Oh no. Oh no, yo. Es no bueno. Oh hey, I got a Discord man oh, notification. Ah. Oh hey, I can summon you. You. <laughs> yes, Tragodia with twelve hundred attack. Oh hey, both of our Zalamanders triggered. That was magical. Three, oh man, three babies. Better figure out how to pop the baby. All right, uh, dinos don't brick, yeah. My Zalamander could beat up your Zalamander. Maybe. I drew- What the f- Ah. 
I hit my mic. Uh, what the fuck? I, 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 you I, I just drew this. Like, I just put that away. I thought I, hmm. I don't know, man. You put your saber on top of the deck, dude? I thought I shoveled. I I'll be, I'll be honest with y'all. I thought I shuffled it. What the fu ha ha ha? I hit my mic. Yeah, I hit my mic by accident with my wire. Like this. Uh, I'm gonna summon this one then. The effects aren't negated. But I'm, but I think drastic times call for drastic measures. And this is certainly a drastic time. Attack me, I dare you. I'm attack. I am going to hit you with attack. It's gonna be the attack on. <laughs> At this point, I'm just saying random words. Do you not have break sword? Break sword, break sword, break sword, break sword, break sword. Break sword, break sword, break sword. Oh! I'll be honest, I forgot about him. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> the rank 3 guy. Yeah, I completely forgot about his existence. I'm gonna be real. Wait, how, what does Trigodia do? Um, ah. Well, she. Oh no, the salamander. Oh no! The thunder dragon daughter? <laughs> Wait, what? Also, uh, I forgot to mention this, I'm a bit louder now because I forgot th uh, to tell y'all that my sibling's awake now. She, uh, they just told me. Oh, ignore that? Alright, I'll just pretend this isn't real. Ah, my nose is she. Uh, you know, funnily enough, hmm, kind of screwed. I thought I could summon Colossus. Hmm. 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 Um, I think, yeah. I think I know what to do. Oh, I've gotta activate him first. Mm, God damn. Ah. Oof. Uh... I think I know what to do now. I, I have the strategy. Why could I not go into... Ah... I was trying to figure out why I couldn't go into what's what's their face. Uh, unicorn. Hmm. Why the nightmares? Because I can, I can do this. Uh, hey yeah. They're all fiends. Yay! The better yeah, Nightmare Unicorn art? I know, right? This is so freaking cool. 
It's also great to see Ebly in like another place. Oh, oh shoot! That triggered the thun the, 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 the thunder. Thunder. Uh, I'ma now go to main phase two and set my card. I run two Thunder Dragon cards and Sarcophagus Lamau. Why? <laughs> Those are two random cards to be running in a deck like this. But yeah, maybe I should try a Neosphere deck. This does seem pretty fun. Is there a specific lore reason why Unicorn is the only nightmare with Eevee in this art? I don't think so. I think they just did it because it looks cool. Oh, Shido. Uh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. I am not in a good spot. I'm gonna be real. Or it's just easier for the artist to draw Ebly on a horse than the rest of the nightmares. Yeah. Probably. They're just like, what else could we do with a horse to make it look cool? And they thought, I know, let's have someone ride it. Their sarcophagus? Hold on, where? Ah! Oh! I was thinking of a different sarcophagus, I'm not gonna lie. I was thinking of, uh, the... the... What was it called? The... the... The Spirit of the Pharaoh. Oh, my nose is itchy. Mm. Okay, draw. That is not what I need. Oh yeah, right. The... Hmm. Ibli could definitely sit on Cerberus, right? Probably. I don't know. How big is Cerberus? Goblin would be weird, and so would Mermaid, yeah. And there's also a Phoenix. You can't really ride a fiery bird. You could ride Griffin, though. But I feel like, like, once again, we have to consider the size of the, of the creatures as well. Like, how big is Cerberus and Griffin in comparison to, like, a normal human? I don't know if we see, like, art of them. Hold up. There's probably like a World Legacy card that like is associated with them or something. World Legacy Nightmare? Oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think Ibli can definitely ride Cerberus and Griffin. Did you see uh, my other spell here? My mouth? Uh, hold on, I didn't see. Let me check. Uh, tribute to <laughs> Oh man. Oh, so, all right, you won. I, I just drew Maxi. All right, I entered the room and made the replay of Snake Eyes versus For Hire public. If you want to watch it later. You know what? Sure. A Nightmare Mermaid on tart with Ebly would be cool since Mermaid got banned because it could fetch uh, Ebly. That would be cool. But, uh, Darkest, what? Diablos? It's not even the cool Diablos. Uh, what was I gonna do? What was I gonna say? <gasps> Are you gonna destroy? Oh, it cannot be activated. Never mind. Play Curtain Razor. I'm pretty sure I have Curtain Razor. Cyber Goblin? I'm honestly surprised there isn't a Cyber Goblin. <clears throat> they made Nightmare Goblin really cool? Yeah. 
Honestly, that's probably one of the most badass goblins. 8 out of 10. No, you don't want to have extras, which is, uh, going second. I'm still wondering who... Oh, oh, yeah, a good game, Time Thief Pretzel. No, you don't. You have extras, which is for going second. Yeah, no, 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 I, I have Curtain Razor. And I have extras. I put them both. Alright, I'm gonna do you, Omenheart. And you know what? Maybe after this, I'm gonna watch your public tool. I wanna see what. I wanna see. Um, the duel you're talking about. Yeah. He wants to. Oh, wait. Oh, I read that already. Then play more. Uh, more, damn it. It's a free fiend, but it's only once per duel! A better player than Moody? Well, first of all, I was not going all out. If I had a, I can sh I can show you my strongest form. But my strongest form is too unfun. I'm like Ken Pachi. I literally like put an eye patch over myself just to to hold myself back. You only need to summon it once. Yeah, but like still. What if I draw two? It would suck. Hmm. Speaking of suck, this sucks. <laughs> How did I draw Divine Evolution? <laughs> Fuck. Oh no. Not a very high bar to begin with, oh my god. I only hold myself back just to have fun. I could be playing Sword Soul, but that's not fun to play against. Or, or sprites. Yeah, I tend to feel bad whenever I play uh, Junk Warrior sprites. Even though it's like really fun, I don't know how other people feel about it. Oh. You aren't a time thief unless you have it in your name? True. You are the time thief pretzel. You know, we're just joking, Moody, right? Mm, yeah, I know. I'm just saying, like, I'm... I can... I can do better, though. Sorry, maybe I made myself sound too serious. Hmm. Need to work on that, huh? Like trying to set a specific tone. Other movie has resonators? Well, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know who who they are. I feel like they might be the... Because, like, there was one stream where I was dueling against someone who literally named themselves Moody Student or something. They didn't say anything in chat, but it was very clear that they were watching me. I lied about my height. Not 389. Hmm. Cool. <clears throat> I'm 34. Damn. Aha! The abominable chamber has been destroyed. You foolish fool, currently being foolish. Hmm. Damn. Well, I mean, I don't know what else to say. I 
Hey, wait, that's not the right one. This is the right one. Here comes the sun. Because, uh, 3 9 wouldn't get you judged in the first place by. I wonder if you can make use of Fiend Griefing since you can search it with Lilith. Ooh. That would be interesting. I don't know what Fiend Griefing does, but. <clears throat> but you said Lilith, and I was already interested. Uh. Oh, they're letting it pass. Hi, yeah. Sadly, I can only summon this guy once per turn. So if he gets destroyed, uh, that's it. Oh no. There's two of them. I just realized, you can technically play, um... Ah, shit. There he goes. It's a normal trap that shovels one monster from the, oppo uh, the opponent's grave into the deck, and you get foolish, uh, and you get to foolish a fiend. Ooh, I kind of like that. Hmm. Oh man, there goes my cards. Man, I have not summoned a single af uh, wicked monster. I should change my deck again. I don't think I can. Um, I don't think I can effectively summon these guys. Maybe I should just do a Burning Abyss deck. It might work a lot better in comparison to um, the Burning Abyss Raw. Hmm. But I also need to search these guys too. Oh boy, this is a long combo. You know, completely unrelated, but there was actually a time that I ate the skin of a papaya along with a papaya. And like, I was even talking about it with my siblings saying like, man, the papaya was kind of tough to eat. You know, with like the skin and whatnot, and apparently I didn't. Uh, and my sibling had to inform me that I was supposed to peel it, and like they were looking at me in horror, realizing that I ate the skin of the papaya, and they even looked it up. And apparently, a papaya has latex, so it's like made from the same stuff from gloves. So yeah, I basically ate the equivalent of gloves. So you're eating coconuts whole? Uh, nah, it would be too tough for my teeth. I eat the skin of a lemon? I would, you know, I would like to try eating the skin of a lemon. Earthbound prison negates Colossus? Yeah, apparently so. It can negate things. Which is kind of bonkers yonkers if you ask me. I just, I, I just, uh, well, I just realized, like, I just, 
I was looking at other things, and I just noticed like three donners. <laughs> what, the fuck? what is going on? What what is happening? Yo, Omen Heart, you're cooking a little too much. Your swag is too. What was the thing? Your smoke is too tough. Your mm, swag is too... Wait. How does it go? Hold on. It's like... Your swag is too... Oh, wait. Huh? Connection failed. Huh. I have no idea what happened. I'm gonna be real with you. Uh, but good game, Omen Heart. Like, damn, you really cooked. You cooked so hard, I... I, I lost connection. <laughs> Like damn. Hold on. Now I'm gonna watch your your replay. Hold on. I'm pretty sure I can check out my followers, right? Uh hold up, that's not the follower thing. This is probably the follower thing. Uh Omen Heart. Profile. Replay. This is the Oh wait, holy shit, did chat just glitched again? Um This is the one, right? I was cooking too much apparently? Yeah. I don't think I've ever you know, I tried papaya. Papaya is pretty good. Play kid uh Moody, he's cooking me. Yeah. I'll play against them in a bit. Um, is this the one? By the way, Omen, is this the... Is this the one? I was going for an OTK? Ah. Interesting. Oh, you meant Omen. Ah. And yeah. Alright. Let's see this replay. I'm gonna be narrating it as good as possible. Because I feel like I'm lacking in the narration department. Alright, so it's the opponent's turn. Seven. Seven versus Open Heart. Seven activates the field spell, uh, te Divine Temple of the Snake Eyes. Sets, uh, puts, uh, Snake Eyes, a Snake Eye Ash into the Continuous Spell Zone, and then activates Swords of Revealing Light. Interesting. Omen, uh, normal summons Rex. This triggers Divine Temple um, to target the Ash, and then Omen chains Rookie for Hire. Special summons Beat. Rex triggers to add Mayhem for Hire. Snash activates its effect to add one level one Fire Monster from their deck to their hand. Chaining Mayhem. Or what's up with the swords? I have no idea. <laughs> Swords are revealing light, no way. Yeah. Beat activates, they chain uh, Poplar. Poplar gets summoned. Beat adds uh, Philo. Poplar activates its effect to add original sinful spoils. Beat activates its effect to special summon Philo. Philo special summon in Seal. Seal special summons uh, Recon. They link into Fulgo, Justice for Hire. Fogo activates its effect to special summon a guy. Special summon seal. Fogo special summons Rafael. Rafael activates seal chain, adding. Uh, who are they adding to their hand? Beat. Rafael uh, activates its effect to see the, the top four cards. And Omen adds in Bravo. Recon activates effect, special summons another Rafael, they go into Zombie Vampire. Which is pretty good. Zombie Vampire activates effect, mill for four on both sides, special summons Bravo. 
Poplar activates effect to put Poplar into the continuous spell and trap zone. Seems they're playing Kashtira, Kashtira Snake Eyes, which I don't think is a good combo in my opinion. They link into Donner. Donpa activates, destroys the Swords of Revealing Light. Fogo activates, strong 3. Donpa special summons uh, Sagita, deal, inflicts 2000 damage. Two Donners can combine together to form Tripogray Shrike, the Ominous Omen, banishing a monster. They're probably going to. They're actually going to be banishing the Divine Temple of the Snake Eye. Interesting. They link into another monster, another Donner, which is quite interesting. They haven't activated the effect, so they tribute to Special Summon and Refail, and both Refails. And then they activate Rex to Special Summon Bravo. And that's game. That's... wow. That's honestly quite impressive. Like, yeah, they bricked, but... Um, but that was... that was still an impressive, like, uh, OTK. It's like somebody went to Master Duel decks, played very little spell trap destruction, and... and and that one Swords of Revealing Flight kid in the back was like, uh, was licking his lips in excitement. Huh. Yeah, pretty much. They should add Victory Dragon <laughs> in Master Duel. I mean, it won't really do anything, so why not? Unless they're gonna put in a best of three format, it doesn't really matter. What's up, Moody? Hello, Ixel. Welcome to the stream. Oh no, are you getting destroyed or? All right. That was what and was going to happen to you. Ah. Hmm. Yeah. I, I can definitely see it. Okay, I, w I really want to duel this uh, Kid Moody Guts, but with like a serious deck. Oh man, oh no. Hold up, let me try to fix my, my analog stick. Konami will never add best of three to this game because they don't like you. True. Fire Princess FTK. <laughs> Moody, be louder. Well, I mean, I'm a pretty quiet person. Maybe I should increase the volume on my, my mic again. I've been trying to find, like, the perfect volume for my mic. Hold on. Maybe... Could I change my mic volume midstream? Hold up. I'll be back real quick. Let me, let me check if I can do this. Device, okay, audio device, microphone level, uh, okay, um, I bring it up, can you guys, do I sound louder, or, hold on, I'll check the chat over here. I only moved it up. It's so. Hold up. It's so disorienting to be hearing myself twice, like when I talk and then the thing talks back at the same time. Um, so, do I sound better or. You sound like the. the who baked a hamster into my muffin guy? You're echoing too? Hmm. Oh, wait, maybe that's just the thing that I'm hearing. Maybe it was just because of the the adjust level thing. Hmm. Look it up. I'll look it up later. Okay. Um. Hmm. So wait, do I sound better now? Because I feel like the echo might have been because I was adjusting my microphone level. Uh, it could do a smidge quieter. 
Wait. Huh? Hold up. Wait. Huh? Hold up. I'm confused. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I guess... Hmm. Okay, I guess I made it slightly quieter? I don't know. Anyway, I am back now. Um... So what was I gonna do again? Oh yeah, I was gonna... Uh... I was gonna... Uh, play something. I could play TGs against this, this person. Mound would be such a neat card if it eh, if it had like four other effects. <laughs> True. Watch me get de getting destroyed. You know what? Sure. Play Uriah. <gasps> Perfect. It has all the floodgates. All right. <clears throat> So I'm gonna narrate this too. Okay, we're in the point of view of Kid Moody Guts. Uh, Thief Pretzel activates Thunder Dragon Dark, adding another Thunder Dragon Dark. <clears throat> oh, don't narrate my death? Okay. Well, I mean, no. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Well, let's see what Kid Moody Guts is gonna do. Oh, activate another Thunder Dragon Dark to add another Thunder Dragon Dark. A field spell that offers protection was cool 15 years ago, but not anymore. Do you actually? Okay. So, uh, Kid Moody Guts activates Earthbound Prison, and then negate negating Thunder Dragon Colossus activates the Resonator Call, Adding a uh, Vision Resonator activates uh, Earthbound Stone Sweeper. Normal summoning uh, Red Sprinter, Special Summoning Earth um, Prisoner. Oh my God, this guy's moving too fast. Special Summoning Red Rising Dragon targeting the Vision Resonator. Vision Resonator activates effect to add a spell trap that mentions Red Dragon Archfiend. <sighs> Adds the Crimson Gaia. Red Rising Dragon resolves. Special Summoning Vision Resonator activates Crimson Gaia. Adding a red dragon archfiend card, red zone. Setting red zone. Uh, synchro summoning into scarred dragon archfiend. Synchro summoning again using earthbound groundkeeper and scarred red dragon archfiend to go into hot red dragon archfiend abyss. Scarred red dragon archfiend activates its effect to special summon uh, red dragon archfiend. And destroying a card apparently. Crimson Guide is being used to special summon Red Dragon Archfiend. They tribute two monsters to, sp uh, to normal summon Earthbound Immortal uh, Kapakaku. Uh, they attack twice, destroying all the cards. They, mm, he activates uh, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend. Mm. Thief Pretzel chains Cyframe Gear Gamma. Oh, and destroys the Hot Red Dragon Arch, vanishing all monsters, uh, vanishing the Cyframe and Cy Driver and Cyframe Gamma at the end phase. Activates Thunder Dragon Fusion, chains Red Zone to summon the Titan, which uh, and then activates uh, Red Zone in response, which then. Um, which then interrupts the timing of Thunder Dragon Titan. Now, uh, turn end, ch uh, activates uh, Moody Kid Moody Guts, activates Crimson Gaia, uh, Thief Pretzel chains Maxi, then they chain Red Zone, and then they chain in Thunder Dragon Dark, which then chains into Thunder Dragon Titan. Chain Link 5 destroys the, the field spell and apparently destroys what, that guy. Uh, oh yeah, it destroys that guy because it needs the, the field spell. So much stuff is happening. Lots of cards are getting banished. 94% uh, usage for Maxi. Yeah. 
It is too strong. There's no reason not to play it, honestly. I... Bruh, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Why is it negated? Huh? Okay, uh... Frick. Okay, they use those two guys to go into Red Rising Dragon. Red Rising Dragon activates its effect. Special summon, uh... Red Resonator. Red Resonator activates its effect to gain life points. Scar Drag Dragon Archer with Red Resonator and Synchro Summons into uh, Dispotter. Dispotter activates its effect to destroy to negate? No, just to summon. Destroys the card, then just then deals damage and wins. Jeez. I got nothing but OG Thunder Dragons for this ma from this maxi. Damn, unlucky. Yeah, you would have been uh you would have completely destroyed them if it was um if you drew Nibiru or something. Alright. You know what? I'm gonna duel Kid Moody Guts, but I'm gonna duel using my TG deck. So, I'm ready to duel you. I honestly kind of agree, Firewall. Even though I feel, even though I personally believe Maxi should always be banned, like it would definitely be a lot more balanced in a best of three format. But it's way too strong in a best of one format. I need a new Lama. Yeah. It's kind of unfortunate that I have that I'm going second, but if there's one thing I know, it's that this deck can go second. Synchro World. Wasn't there a pack that gives you a free nip? Yes, there it is. Okay. I activate Resonator Call. Adds the Soul Resonator. Activate Crimson Gaia. Let me see what it does again. Oh, you can change all monsters your opponent controls to fit. If a monster on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon one Red Dragon Archimene from your graveyard. Hmm. This is a newish account? Uh, understandable. Maxi should always be banned, yes, uh, but it would be 5% less oppressive than it is in a best of one format. Huh? Yeah, I agree. Cause like, yeah, <laughs> that's all I need to say. Oh, hello Subarrow Freeman. Welcome to the stream. What's a side deck? Um, a side deck is basically like 15 cards that you don't play until like, you know, the later games where you can like put in, you can add and remove cards into the deck um, to like play. But it's mainly used in a best of three format so that you can like re-strategize against your opponent. You know what I mm, have learned about for hire? If going first, I'm, about, I'm able to summon a powerful boar. If uh, if going second, I'm mm, able to. Uh, I'm able to live possible OTK. Interesting. He was saying it uh, ironically, Moody. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, I'm gonna immediately activate this. Yeah, I knew it was red zone. Oh man, I nearly fell. Also, he's a Yu-Gi-Oh vet who has destroyed me uh, multiple times. Huh. Oh. Nice. Wait, who?
Uh, okay, I don't think there's any more interruptions, so I think I'll be fine. We already had a discussion with Freeman about side deck, so he obviously knows what it is. Ah, uh, oh, dang. <laughs> Alright. So I'm gonna activate this. And then we do all the things. Special summon you. What is a card? Well, you see, a card is... <laughs> How do you define a card, actually? Hmm. It's made of stone, I think? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the first card was ever made was made of stone. What is the secret to life, the universe, and everything? 42. A game piece usually made of chalkboard? Oh, maybe. Hmm. I'm gonna put this here. So it's like Monopoly board? Yeah, probably. Now we go into your boy. Oh man, it counts for both synchro summons, huh? Uh, okay, so I think I'm gonna go into Star Guardian. Star Guardian adds a guy, probably a uh, Salamander, BRB, alright. Hmm, I could just go straight into shooting uh, Star Dragon. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I feel like the rest of my combo is a little too long. Can you check how many elemental sabers and elemental rewards you have? Uh, sure. And Dark Arm Dragon? Yeah. Oh man, this is a dragon, I just realized. I don't think I have Dark Arm Dragon. Surprise, Dark Arm Dragon isn't a UR? I know, right? This game loves to play with the nostalgia. So I would have assumed that like Dark Arm Dragon would have been ultra rare. But thankfully it's only super rare. I don't think I have a single Dark Arm Dragon. So, um, you know, tough luck for me. But... But try and guess is <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't understand it either. It makes absolutely no sense. Uh, I can stop that. Hiya. God, Dark Arm Dragon. Dark Arm is good at uh, mm, elemental sabers. Really? Didn't know that. Hiya! I gotta say though, the the new Resonator support was like really freaking strong. A little scary, too. Elemental Sabers change their attributes in the grave, so it's easier to have three darks in the grave? Ooh! I actually like that. 
Good game, Kid Moody Guts. Um, do you want to perhaps duel again, or... How about another duel? Yeah. Man, I forgot about Elemental Saber's weird gimmick about, like, changing their attribute. Do you think I could play grass in it? Hmm. And the next turn you can change uh, your entire grave into darks and pop five cards since dark arm is not once per turn. Jesus. That's so fucking good. I was thinking of Reasoning and Monster Gate. You know what? That also works. Oh, especially since like a lot of the monsters have like... Especially since like... N no, never mind. I was thinking of the Elemental Lords being like, cannot be normal summon or set or something. Or like, cannot... Must be special summoned by these specific conditions, but I don't know if that actually works with Elemental Lord specifically. Mm, do I ash this? I guess I should. I think I have to. Hmm. Ah, Crimson Gaia. Okay, so they have follow-up. That's good. Bone Archfiend. Imagine using Rollback with Needle, uh, Needle... Bug Nest just to fuel the grave. Yeah, I actually wanted to try something like that. I'm currently trying to get, um... Uh... Rollback. Because I have Needle Bug Nest, but, you know, I don't have Rollback just yet. The Elemental Saber support and the Elemental Lords that need a specific amount of monsters to the, uh, of the same attribute in the grave to summon themselves? Hmm. Yeah. I kind of assume, considering, like, the whole, like, attribute changing for some reason. Oh no! You can activate this card, banish the card, banish your opponent currently controls. Who do you got to kaiju? What about a kaiju? Draw. That's a lot of serpents. Hmm. No, I feel like that's a little... Hmm. I could do something, but... I'll feel bad. I have too much empathy. Like, I know the way to out the the card. But, you know, if I do it, I'll just feel bad for doing it. You know? summon uh, we could special summon the TG monster I'm pretty sure its effects get negated though yeah Now we've 
go into this one. Are they allowing all these? If a, dra if a dragon zero is on the field, special summon up to two uh, monsters that are resonator and or dragon monsters from your deck. Oh my. Oh no. Sleepy. I don't know why I'm like this. Body, stop being sleepy. Still normal summon again. Yan T S K R. What's a T S K R? Kid Moody Guts is really trying to find the best time to like um to banish all monsters. Well, Negate that effect. Ah, shoot. Oh no. I just realized I made a mistake. Hmm. We could do it uh, with uh, some non tuner resonators. Uh, do. Oh, wait, huh? Do what? So I think I'm just going to go into Power Gladiator and just accept my defeat. I mean, they could print non-tuner resonators. TSKR ta Taskare or Taskaru It's Hmm It's Somewhere along the lines of bless you if I'm not wrong. Ah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I feel like non-tuner resonators would be interesting, but I think that kind of defeats their whole point because, you know, they're holding a tuning fork. So it's like... So it's like they're always tuners, you know? If that makes sense. Oh man, it's the big boy. The Earth Mountain Greater Line Walker. Why does Line Walker sound like a like a football role? You know, you got the quarterback, you got the I only know the quarterback, I'm, I'm gonna be real with you. So draw them without the uh, damn fork and <laughs> make them non-tuners. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I really be snorting a lot. You mean the linebacker? Ah. Yeah, I I know nothing about sports. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you. Oh, so line. So Line Walker can cut my life points in half, apparently. Huh. I think? Maybe? Oh, no, it just makes my life points 3,000. Huh. Yeah. Thanks for telling me, Tyler er, Coart. Also, welcome to the stream. 
Glad to have you here. Yes, the whole Earthbound archetype is just in the NFL. <laughs> nice. Aztec NFL. Wow, that's a mm, cool interaction with Red Dragon Archfiend and Earthbound. Yeah. This person that I'm dueling against uh, is is doing really well with like combining the two. Also, welcome to the stream, Dreamu. Glad to have you here. And what does that make the uh, the actual NFL archetype? Posers. I run Dogmatica with our Earthbound. It's uh, it has some cool synergy. Interesting. I never thought about that. Because all the Earthbounds, well, until the recent support, are like main deck only. How's TG treating you? Beautifully. I've been playing it for months, actually. Uh, not months, uh, weeks, actually. And I gotta say, this has to be like my favorite Synchro deck. I actually, which, it's gonna be, it's gonna sound blasphemous coming from me. But I actually like it way more than Sword Soul. <laughs> because Sword Soul, like, it has its basic, and it's, like, great. Because it's basic, but also... Like, you know, sometimes I can get a little bored of it. But TG, like, it always feels like I can combo into the the field I want. It And it just feels good comboing. And even if I'm going through interruptions, I can just find a way to play around it because there's so many ways to find the starter. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy it too. Nice. It also works really well with Diabell Star. Though I have to use Diabell Star before um before Dragonar or Star Guardian or Trident. I've never seen well, good game, uh, Kid Moody Guts. I still feel like you're the same person that I dueled against that one time. Thanks for the duel. Hey, we did that at the same time. All right, I'm I'm gonna go now. Hmm. All right, give me a second. I'm gonna. I might make this a video later. Yeah, I feel like I haven't made, uh, I haven't, uh, put in, like, planned for videos for a bit, so it's best for me to, like, write it down later. All right. So now I'm going to continue to try to figure out how to how to make the wicked gods work. Maybe maybe it's better for me to play Burning Abyss. I'm going to be real. Though I am not really a big fan of the whole Burning Abyss destroying themselves, but maybe it's like my only choice. Check for elemental sabers. Oh yeah, I'll I'll do it after I um after I get the burning abyss guys. Uh, yeah, Skarm would be useful. Farfa would also be useful. Uh, also put you. Um, I don't want to put too many of the same names. I could also play one of you, one of you, one of you, and one of you. Oh wait, maybe a barbar is better. Barbar has high attack, and then I put you, you, and you, uh... Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm aware of, like, the whole, like, interaction between Cherubini and whatnot. Hmm. Hmm? What? Oh, right, right, uh, I can't play these. I forgot. Um... I don't know what else to put in, though.
Moody, I don't like BA. Also, Moody has 90% of the BA cards. Yeah, I was quite interested in BA, but like it feels so hard to make it work. And I sadly don't have the dedication of Farfa to constantly make it better. <clears throat> Hold on, let me read some of the some of chat before I go to the next thing. Because I feel like I'll get lost later. I got bored of one line decks. I love generators because it's so versatile. Yeah, but having versatility in a deck is also really nice. Make an hour long compilation of you getting sauced up by Magic Cylinder. Oh, that would be so difficult to go through because I have to go through every single stream. <laughs> And I have too many. I have too many streams. And. Um. Like the current Sword Soul uses only Tenyu. Still re remember people using Yang Ying on older Sword Soul decks when it came out in Magical? Weird. Uh, could try magical must uh, mustics uh, mu muskets. Don't have uh, graveyard effects, but they're pretty good uh, overall with their hand trap cards. Mm, I'll think about it. Oh, but before I forget, I need to put in uh, I need to put in elemental sabers. Element. Wait, is wait element. Yeah, I'll just put elements and see if I get it. Elemental, uh, elemental lords and... I'll just put in this one. So, I have... Hmm. So, I don't have this guy. I have most of the elemental guys. I don't have this one, this one, or this one. Oh wait, what? Huh? Wait, why why are you why are you related? Oh, all saber monsters. Ah, okay. Okay. I mean maybe I can make something like this. I don't have the field spell either, which is the only ultra rare. Is the field spell required? Uh once per turn, if an elemental would send a card from your hand to the graveyard to activate an effect, you can send any elemental sabers from your deck to the graveyard instead. At all monsters once per turn, you can add one elemental saber from your deck to your hand, but skip your the next battle phase. Yes, the field spell is required. Foo! Oh, this is gonna take me a while. Um. Oh, all right. Well, the field spell being a uh, UI uh, criminal. Well, yeah, like, oh, look at this card. It's literally mandatory for the deck, but um, and then it's like. Eek. Let's make it really freaking expensive. It's what I really hate about like the recent um, the recent meta decks is because there are so many ultra rares. It's ridiculous. But like Cherubini prevents two of your BA from blowing up if you control a non BA, so it's not that bad. Yeah, I'm aware. I played lots of Cherubini before, and lots of Burning Abyss. I had a really old video called Burning Abyss Raw. Well, it was specifically called um, Farfa Would Be Disappointed. And I just played Burning Abyss Raw. It was not that good. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so we have different names. We have Elich. 
Yeah, having different- I just realized I'm dueling against, uh, these guys. I hate it. Yo, two turn, uh, wiki gone? Maybe. I mean, if these guys aren't assholes and allow me to activate Mount of the Bound, the creator. No! Okay, I really hope I draw into, what's his name, um, Red Reboot, because I really don't want to deal with any of this. Frick. Yeah, but this is Labyrinth. Like, I do have scissors, but this is Labyrinth, so... I'm... I'm going to die. That, that is like... Guaranteed at this point. Here comes Welcome Labyrinth! Yay! Oh man, I'm getting a lot of messages from my group chat. Uh, wait, who do we special summon? Uh, probably, probably Graf. I think Graf might be the best. Graf, special summon Seer, and then we can do something with Seer. Oh my god, Seer. I wonder if uh, traps could be a thing in the future. Oh, field traps. Uh, maybe. Ah. Uh, I think it's starting, uh, starting to go out of hand where they start going into branded stuff and notoriously the Dynamorphia cards. The whole Manad, yeah. The whole Manadium build was uh, icing on the cake with how ridiculous deck building is going to be in the future. I know, right? Like... Like, it's just ridiculous how expensive they're becoming. Which, in my opinion, like, even if you... Even if you like, um... Hold on, I, I blinked out for a second, sorry. Um, in my opinion, that's like a really bad business uh, idea. Because, you know, as someone who plays a lot of gacha, um, there's like, there's like a balance that you have to perform for it. If you, if the card, if the, the gacha is too hard to obtain, no one's gonna play it because there's no point in trying to obtain something that feels unobtainable. Oh wait, why can't I activate this? Oh right, field spell. Fuck. Okay. And... Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, and if you make it too easy, um, then no one's gonna feel the same high as getting an ultra rare. Or a 5 star. Like, there has to be a good balance. And it seems that Konami is tipping the balance a little too harsh. Harshly. Give it enough time, everything will be uh, a thing. I'm willing to bet. Uh, I'm willing to bet there's an archetype that allows monsters to attack face down in the future. I mean, maybe. I don't know. You can blame. You can blame it all uh, on how efficient archetypes are nowadays. All you need your. F all you need for your deck to be uh, functional are like four cards, three. Four cards, three URs, and one SR. Well, I mean, yeah, that, that I do understand that. But the thing is, like, oh man, I can summon the Wicked Eraser. Oh shit, I messed up. Um, but the thing is, like, even in other Gotcha games where like the characters are really strong, like. They understand that, like, 
some of these characters would be necessary, so they put them in lower levels so that they can help you. Or that, you know, maybe they would be easier to obtain everywhere, you know? But, um... But Konami's not really doing that. So... They're not making it them easier to obtain after, like, they've been out for months, maybe even years. And in fact, are just making them harder instead. I have a bad hand. Like, Fire Emblem Heroes is kind of a good example, even though I haven't played it for years. So I don't know if anything changed. But, like, um, they would have characters be five stars at first. And then they would release some of these, some of the characters as three, four stars or something. You know, just so it can be, um... Just so it can be, those characters can be easier to obtain. Uh, let me put these two. Or, no, maybe just that. Yeah. Or, no, this one has higher attack, so maybe I can utilize it better. Stygian and Street Patrol? Alright. Still mad uh, that alt art has to be 50-50. Like, it's already hard enough to pull the cards now. Kon Komonami is just tickling our feet. Ooh, that's gotta be annoying. <clears throat> uh. Reminds me, does I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure um Tier Limits only has like one SR, so I still feel like there's a huge imbalance in it all. Oh no. Well, I mean, I can probably fight. I can probably fight them. I can take on Kashira in a fight completely. I would beat the brains out of them. Because I hate Kashira in almost every way, shape, or form. I'm actually surprised that they haven't hit Kashira with another ban list. <clears throat> Not because Kashira needs to be banned in any way, but more so because Konami's kind of incompetent in how they ban things. Ah, great. I mean, I can use Triple Tactics Thrust now. At least it's a beautiful field. Yeah, true. Oh, you done fucked up. Okay. I'm gonna activate triple tactics thrust. See what I can get. Uh, we can act, add talents. No, we are not setting it. That will screw us all. Um, we're gonna activate... Who do we go into? Do we go into Dante or do we go into um, Trubini? I think Dante might be better. Um, oh yeah, I was talking about, um, Konami's incompetence, like, there was a time where they hit, um, Flu for no reason, like, they limited the boss monster, and I never really understood why, 
because, you know, no one was playing flu for a long time. So it was kind of strange to like, you know, hit flu at that specific moment. Like, I definitely understand if, Ka if Konami is afraid of losing money, but like, you know. They tend to be like stupid in how they ban cards. Like, they hit Beaver for no reason. I'm still mad about that. By the way. This music. Konami dances around the problems and uh, problem cards because most often they're not until they're brand new. Look at Hulk, for example. Hmm. Kind of true. Oh my God, it's tier cash. That's the worst version of cash. Holy shit! I really don't want to deal with this. I mean, I can definitely like steal a, a fusion monster that they might have. Actually, could I kill? Is this... No, this can't be enough to kill. Damn near banned every um, every tumor monster in the game to avoid a Hulk ban, despite the fact that Hulk was the problem card. Yeah, yeah, Konami really loves money. Hmm. Okay. Halfness? Oh, they're gonna go into- <gasps> wait, 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 If they go into a fusion monster, I might actually win this. How did they do that, by the way? I have no idea. But, uh, they did just see me add talents, so they really were pretty stupid, not gonna lie. Do you love Yu-Gi-Oh now, Mr. Krabs? Do you love Yu-Gi-Oh now, Mr. Krabs? Should be, yeah. 2500, 2600. Yep, yep, I won. Ah. Uh. Connection failed, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they literally saw me add talents to my hand, too. Like, I used thrust, and then I got talents. I don't know why they thought, oh yeah, let me just go into uh, Rukalos. I still haven't summoned a Wicked God yet. I mean, I summoned Dreadroot. Oh, uh, hold on. Oh hey, I can go first. I would love to summon the Wicked Avatar. I think the Wicked Avatar is the best because it's a floodgate. The game is uh, to, to be too stale with only a percentage of the people using the same deck for the longest period. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes it'd be like that. But they did ban Diablosis before Rise Heart came out? True, it's probably because Konami actually did know know the problem of Diablosis and how it just literally keeps the opponent from playing. <laughs> yeah. Like, that was probably one of the best decisions they made, because... I'm leaving. Uh... But yeah, 
like I was kind of waiting for for Konami to actually like do a Konami and just ban random cards for no reason later, which is why I still have uh, a Rise Heart. Uh, I still have two Arise Hearts because I was waiting for a time for me to like dismantle them and get 30 UR, but you know that hasn't happened yet. But maybe eventually, maybe eventually Konami will pull a stoop and, and and I can get the th the extra points. I think there is a stupid combo where you can make a uh, eraser immune to its destruction effect so you can keep using it like a dark hole with legs. That sounds really interesting. I wonder how that works. If they don't miss timing that is. Wait, wicked eraser is a win? I'm kind of baffled, not gonna lie. <laughs> God, why is that card so bad? <laughs> oh shoot, Earthbound Fusion. Into the Gremlin. Oh man, they're actually going for it. What's that? Oh. Prison ground, prisoner groundkeeper. Interesting. Ooh. No human mentioned how it could work with Yang Sing. <laughs> Just have a deck filled with nothing but wins. Okay, Branded Fusion. What's, what is this? I love this even though oh, it's Brand Fusion. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing something cool. Not gonna lie. I can take them on in a fight though. Quem. Yeah, I can like, mm. I can tribute some of their guys. Do they have any other quick effects? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna normal summon this. Activate tour guide from the underworld. They're allowing it. Okay, interesting. Uh, we're gonna summon edge imp sabers. We're gonna activate, uh, or we're gonna go into Cherubini. Special all your BA. Oh yeah. Wait, but then, but w Wicked Eraser is too bad. <laughs> because it. <laughs> I just remembered Wicked Eraser being really shit. Um, it, its attack is based around the number of cards my opponent controls. So, um, yeah. It's a statement play. What's a statement play? Uh, okay. Um, hmm. Hold on, hold on. What, what could I do? What could I do? I could go into summon them all. Hmm. Man, if this was the Wicked Dread route, we would have been swimming. Why did I not put a second. Hmm. This deck is ballin'. Yeah, I guess so.
Okay, hold up. I'm kind of, I'm feeling my brain like expand. Watch this. Rockstar of the Burning Abyss. Alright, now we're gonna activate uh <gasps> Oh wait, no, 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 no. Yes, no, maybe? Could we kill? Hold up. I'm curious now. I'm so curious. Could we kill? Um, we can shuffle you back. We special summon using Seer. Special summon, I don't know, Libic? I guess it doesn't really matter. Special summon Skarm. We, oh, we already normal summon, so we can't. Uh, hmm. Okay. Well, we can still go into like Darius, uh, and then go into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can totally win. We can totally win. Moody, have you have I told you about the provoking the universe uh, with your weak curses? Yeah, but I actually think I can win this. I think I can actually kill. Like, I think fate is actually guiding me right now. She's telling me, you can kill. Okay, hold on. How much damage is that? Okay. Watch this. I won! Hell yeah! T well, I mean, it wouldn't matter if they have evenly. Because I could just steal their monster with uh, tactics, put it into attack position, attack with all my monsters for game. I'm the greatest. <laughs> Fate was on my side that day. She's just like, I'm gonna give you a little break. Battle Vader. <laughs> that would be so funny. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go first. You know something that I realize? The Wicked Eraser can work well with Slifer. And the cherry on top, uh, Kurikata can steal their mirror jade. Well, I think my field would be destroyed, wouldn't it? Or, or wait. Oh no, it's tribute for cost. Never mind. Uh, okay, they have a response, and then he links Battle Fader for relinquish anima, and steals your monster. Steals Virgil, specifically. Do I want to keep going? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna make uh, Deus Ex Machina and then pass. Steals Virgil version. <laughs> Damn, now we know how Nero was born. Alright. They have a lot of cards. Oh, but we can't use, um... Okay, Ash Blossom, that's cool. Actually, th thanks for saying that, Firewall, because now I'm, like, thinking about my, um... I'm currently trying to make a deck called that I just call, like, my... My... I don't know what to call it, like, End the Battle Phase deck, I guess? Where, like, I just have a bunch of cards like Gores and Neos and other such monsters. 
and then I use um, and then I use those guys to just uh, constantly stop the battle phase. So battle fader can actually work with uh, with this because of anima. Maxi into eraser and slifer. That would be interesting. And uh, and also use hand destruction. Call it world peace. Wait, the the ending the battle phase. <gasps> oh, that's actually really good. Ah, shit. Here we go again. Yeah, maybe I should... Maybe what I should do is make a deck for each Wicked God. Instead of trying to, like, make all three of them work. Because there will be certain scenarios where only one of the Wicked Guards would work, but not the others. Oh, really? That's just rude. Or call the deck surprise motherfucker? Cause ain't nobody expecting gores in 2024. <laughs> That's also really good. I think I'm gonna go for that. I remember seeing gores for the first time and I just thought it was like the coolest card ever made. I was just thinking to myself like, whoa. You punish your opponent for attacking you by summoning a big body and a bigger body? Sign me the fuck up. What time is it right now? It's like 6.17 for me. What's the best way to travel from state to state? Bus or plane? Um... Well, I don't really travel uh state to state but i would totally say um bus mainly because trains are miserable not trains uh planes are miserable like you know you gotta deal with like kids crying or like the claustrophobia not to mention the the fact that food tastes different for so for some reason you know stuff like that You know, it just sucks. So like, I would probably say bus is a, a is a lot better. Also, like the chances of getting a really shitty movie for some reason, and that you can't use your phone the entire time, so you have to either get yourself a book or figure out a way to sleep forever. Don't eat the food mm, they give you in planes. Yeah, but sometimes you just get hungry. Uh, hmm. I can normal summon this. No, I think what I'm gonna do is activate Zalamander. For me, it's Trigodia. It's like an amputated obelisk looking ah motherfucker with the silliest interactions. Yeah. <laughs> I also thought Trigodia was really cool. Um. I think I'm gonna special summon this one. <clears throat> and then we normal summon this one. And then we go into uh, IP Mascarena. And then we special summon the saber. Just pack something. Well, I mean, the thing is, I'm pretty sure the reason why food tastes weird on planes is because of, like, um, something about the altitude changing your taste buds or, or whatever. And as a result, like, it just becomes miserable because no matter what you eat, it's gonna taste weird. For me, uh, for me it was the assault mode from monsters. Ooh, yeah, assault modes were really cool. I never understood how they work when I was younger, but like, I still found them really cool, just having an alternate cool version of these cards.
Oh wow. Food tastes weird on planes because uh, they can't properly clean the plates due to tight schedules. I feel like that's not the case, but... Uh. Normal summon, tour guide from the underworld. Activate the touring guide. Special summon, uh... uh... Seer! It depends on the... Uh, the cheap... It depends, the cheaper the ride the, and the cheaper the comfort, you know? True, that is very true. Sadly. <laughs> Okay, activate Dante, detach uh, tour guide, send three cards, summons Graf. Uh, we can use Graf to summon Libic, and then use Libic to special summon... Wait, Libic... does Libic summon from the graveyard, or is it only from the hand? Hold on, let me check. Uh, Libic, 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 if you control, special summon one Dark Fiend monster from your hand. She, uh, send one Burning Abyss spell trap. Uh, send up to three. Four. Mm. The first Dante activation in years. You, you must not have seen Farfa. <laughs> uh, I don't know who to put into the grave. Uh, uh you, I guess. Bus is more miserable for me. Uh, been in situations where I don't, uh, where you wanna photon blast uh, the blood, the bus and driver from the underworld. Hmm. You know, think about it now. I have been on a bus many times. It wasn't really that bad. But then again, I I mostly sleep. So, you know, there's that. I forgot to put Edge of Sabers into attack position, so... Whoopsie. Um, we could go into a big bad Unchain Abomination. Or we can go into Phoenix and just, you know, chill with it. Bless Moody for raising the percentage of Dante's usage. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hold on. How? So it. So it's like chain link one Dante and chain link two Seer. I'm pretty sure. Target Seer and then Seer target Dante. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, I heard Farfa say it so many times that I'm just. I'm just like, yeah, that's that's how it goes, Grandpa. That's great, Grandpa. Let's just take you to bed. Okay, now we summon by sending you... Beatrice. Yeah, the usage percentage goes from 0 0.001 to 0 0.001. Hmm. Yeah. It do be like that. Ah. Bana 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 Now, can this person do anything? That is the question. I should put my second Beatrice, or, or not second Beatrice, second Cherubini. Uh, pass? Huh? Alright. 
What are, what are they playing that they brick this? I've never, I've been on buses my entire life since my family never had a car. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. Guys, 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 guys. We have, we have it, we have it. Holy shit. Okay, we need to... We must. We have to. We have to do it. We have the wicked avatar. Alright, 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 alright. Uh, we can also do something with this, right? Like, seer, target, some guy, and then... Nah. Alright, let's put Beatrice into attack position. Let's go slightly insane and tribute IP Masquerina. <laughs> Nightmare Phoenix and uh, Edge Imp Sabers. Long ago, the f uh, four nations lived together in harmony, but everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Only the Avatar, master of all four elements, can stop them. But when the world needed him most, he was just playing Yu-Gi-Oh this entire time. Like, what the hell, man? <laughs> Yay, Wicked Avatar! <laughs> Heck yeah! IP protection for the Wicked Avatar. Uh. Alright, I think we're gonna do one more duel and then, you know, call it a day. <gasps> Marshmallow! I honestly forgot that Marshmallow was a mate. Oh man. Hmm. Ah, oh, I popped my back. Oh no, I don't want to wait through this. So I'm gonna do another duel for y'all. You know, I tend to regret it whenever I say I'm going to do one more duel. Because usually it doesn't become the last duel. Because, you know, the duel would tend to suck. So I think I should, like, surprise y'all with the ending, you know? Altar Wicked Avatar now with 10% more shine. <laughs> it's... <laughs> you just see it in a different angle or some shit. I remember how my class once went on a cross-state trip with only three toilet breaks for 12 hours. That's gotta be cruel and unusual punishment. Cause what the fuck? Like... Cause like what the fuck? Oh man, I just realized I am going second, and I forgot to put in Cherubini. Hmm, or like a second Cherubini. I have two. Man, Cherubini's design is so fucking sick. I wish they could add like more of the higher, uh, the higher... The higher, um... Angels. I guess the higher angels into the into the game. Some of the kids had and to hold in, in their shit for six hours. Fuck, that's torture. Okay, um, so I'm going to activate um this special summons here. 
Summon the seizure. Special summon you. Uh, we can go into uh, Dante and then go into this. Okay, I had milled no no names. Uh, we could just... Oh, hey, we can go into... Wait, but Seer Target Dante Special Summons Don... Hmm. You know what? I'll just, I'll just beat them over the head. I have to admit... Uh... Hold on. I have to admit, that experience made me realize I never want to travel again. Imagine doing nothing for 12 hours since the rest of the kids were so exhausted. Yeah. I definitely understand that. At my place, uh, region, the uh, the company's rather bolts uh, the do the, in the toilets. Because of how deranged people are using the toilet till a point it became a health hazard. Damn. Well, I kind of had a similar experience with that, but like, I don't think our, uh, I don't think the place I worked at, like, did something drastic like that. It was my last day, too, when, when that happened. It was gross, so I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to gross you guys out in the process. Um... Alright. Now we're gonna... We can't link into... Hold on, how much damage is this gonna be? 20... If we add another 1500, it's not enough. Okay. So, let's go into Cherubi. And your phone uh, battery won't last you 12 hours, and that was before buses implemented charging places. Hmm. Damn. Send you. Increase the attack of you. Activate you. This is gonna be enough, I'm sure. We're gonna special summon uh, Farfa. I think this is enough. Is it? I don't know. I'll be honest with you, I don't know. Oh, oh, wait, 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 this isn't enough. No. Hold up. Unless. Seer. Oh, hey, there's the wicked avatar. Um, let me summon the cool one. I don't know what this guy was doing. But, you know, at least we killed someone. Hey, yeah. This is exactly game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me see what this guy was playing, because he could not do a thing. Is this like a new bot? Because I recently dueled someone like this as well. I usually bring, uh... A handheld console, just a Game Boy, and an MP3 player, just to save battery life on my phone. Nice. Yeah, I think this is a bot, because this guy did nothing. Hmm. Oh well. I did say that was going to be my last duel. So anyway. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been kind of a fun stream. Granted, I don't think I summoned the Wicked Gods as often as I'd like to. But, that might require me, like, to do more testing. Um, so, eventually, eventually I'll, I'll make a perfected version of this deck. But for now, I'm just gonna have to lay low, I guess. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that sentence. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. 
I hope you guys mm, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.